Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm here at work and we're just gonna do a little code along of the kind of tasks I would do at work. So I have the new company web page I'm building here because our current web page is made with WordPress and we want to make it with Next.js, React, TypeScript, and this time we chose to use Chakra for the UI. So we want this, I put this English toggle button here. So when you click this, it should change the whole page into English. And I thought about how to do this because well, I've done this before. Uh, this is a website that I did it was a direct freelancing project and you can see you just have this language toggle and if you look at the URL it actually it's bringing us to a different page so this was the original page the index.html and then when you click this it just takes us to basically a copy of that page called english.html and I have it over here on my other computer. It's really simple. I mean, just thinking about how to do it and implementing it just took a few minutes. So where is the header? We have the header up here. The header is here. And you can see I put an anchor tag here on the index HTML page. So it's an anchor tag, it's a link. And when you click on it, it just has this href to english.html, which all I did was just control A, copy this whole page and paste it into a new english.html page. And then of course later I had to, you know, cut out all the text and put the translations in. But as far as just thinking about how to implement this and actually doing it, uh, it took just a few minutes. But now back over to the other computer. If we're here on a Next.js app, it's a little more complicated. So I was thinking about how can I do this? I could make it do something the same. I mean, if you click on English, take it to a whole different page, but it's a little more complicated when you get into routing in Next.js and just like each one of these things, like this header is its own component in a different file. So it gets kind of complicated. The way I chose to do it is to make a language toggle component in its own file and pass through this is Japanese prop through all the other components. So if we go to the home page, you can see each component is gonna have this prop is Japanese, and then we have this little toggle language function. Thinking about how to do this and then actually implementing it through to get this whole page uh, switching between Japanese and English like this, it took me over two hours, I think like two and a half hours. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of work because yeah, I mean, these things are their own component in a different file. So I've got to like go in there. Let me see, where is it? The comp blocks. So like, I've got to go in there and pass the is Japanese. There's the original title. And then also I have to pass in now a new English title that I made that is a copy of that kind of element with the English translations. So I just have to go in through and change everything. But yeah, it was it was a lot more work than just a vanilla JavaScript page. I got this working on the home page, but now I have to go over to the services page and I have to make sure, well, first I have to translate all this stuff and then I have to make sure the props are passing through to each of these uh, components. So let's just go ahead and code through some of this stuff. The services page. So you see we're getting errors now because it's missing the type is Japanese because it's now a required prop. And there's other thing, message. So it's getting this message, but we're gonna have to make an English 
English message. So let's just go ahead and work through some of this stuff. Headline message. Project Kaihatsu. Let's just go through and see where that is. Prototype Kaihatsu. This thing. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little experiment. We wanna copy this. And we're gonna call this English headline message. And you can see it's declared, but its value is never read. Now let's, for now, just do a kind of Google Translate. Actually, I'm gonna use DeepL because it's better. And then if it needs changed later, I'll change it. I'll, I'll check, I'll do a review over it to make sure it's actually correct. Uh, put that in there. Okay, so now we have our English headline message. And where is that getting served? Here. So what's the error? It's missing is Japanese. So let's give it is Japanese equals is Japanese. Why is that not working? How did I do that over here? I did this yesterday, comp header. Uh, we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to set these up over here. Const homepage, we're gonna have to do the same thing. Const services page, put these in there. Use state, cannot find name, use state. So we're gonna have to import that from React. So I'll just put it up here. Import React from React, but also we want to use use state. There we are. Where is this? Okay, that's no problem. So let's go down. Where did we go? Okay, that's gone. Comp main title. Do we also have to put that toggle in there? Uh, yeah, on toggle language. So just gonna copy that. So we actually need to put that on there. Um, what is this? Talk on toggle language. Where is this messing up? Okay. I'm totally forgetting what I did yesterday. We did both of those. On top of language. Why is that? not working uh well, for now let's go to english message oh we couldn't put it straight in here but no english headline message Where is this error coming from? Title, string, message, on toggle void is not assignable to type. Intrinsic attributes and props. Something is messed up. Const homepage. Let's move this over here so I can see them right next to each other. Const homepage. Is Japanese use state toggle language? Why? This is working. Comp header services. Let's look at the main title here. Comp main title. Message, English message. Oh. Did 
Do we just don't put this? Let's see if that actually works. No, it doesn't. I knew we needed it. What the heck? Comp main title. Over here, English message, message, English message. Interesting. We shouldn't have to do this. I'm really retarded. The reason this ain't working. Its value is never read. The reason it's not working is because here. Box. It's this part. Competitor is Japanese on language toggle. We want to put that here. Now let's see. There we go. All right, so it's working just like on the home page. Very good. So now we just have to add those props on the other places. Um, it is Japanese. We did that there. So yeah, that's, that's it for that thing. Now I'm just gonna have to make copies of all of these things and turn them into English and then just pass that is Japanese prop and an English version of whatever the text is, and then we're good to go. Then the, the whole website will be toggling. It'll all be toggling from English to Japanese, just like that. So that's it. Um, I hope that was interesting. This is the kind of thing I'm doing all day at my job as a front-end developer here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you want to chat or whatever, join the Discord. And as always, don't forget, we go hard in the code. So if you don't want to go hard, then I don't know what to say. Go home or go do something else because if you're coding, you got to go hard. See you all next time.